guys welcome to tesca technologies private limited today i will going to explain you different keys operation of dso so as we know dso is a digital storage oscilloscope which is used to see the voltage waveforms time period on the dso lcd so this is our tesca's digital storage oscilloscope order code for this kit is 17014 so there are different section of keys in this dso so this is a measurement menu soft key these are this is an lcd this is a function menu soft keys this is a multi function knob these are the common operation keys this is a clear key auto key run stop key single key this is a section of help and print this is an trigger control area this is a vertical control area this is an horizontal control area this is an external trigger input this is an analog analog channel input area these are the probe compensation signal output terminal and this is an ground terminal this is an power key button and this is a usb host interface So this DSO is with the bandwidth of 200 megahertz. In this we have a two analog channel, memory depth up to 28 Mbps on both channel. Complete connect complete connectivity with USB devices, USB host, and local area network that is LAN. So now I will going to explain you different keys and its operation. For that, first of first of all, I am connecting this CRO to AC main supply. Turn on this button. So for explaining this DSO working, I am taking square waveform from this DSO. so on this dso display this will uh, tell us running status of a mode uh, this will tell us trigger point in memory this will tell us trigger point in waveform window and this will tell us channel 1 and channel 2 so on right foremost corner we have a help and print section so help uh, help button can help system give help about all keys so i press this help button so using help, uh, this help button you can see the uh, information of all keys this is a print key so this key execute the quick print of screen data so this is a this is an mode key this is a trigger sweep can be selected auto normal and single this is a normal mode this is a single mode this is an auto mode this is a level key so if we press this key then the quickly set up trigger trigger level to zero you can see here trigger level is 0 volt this is an triggered menu key the triggered menu let you set trigger type mode source condition sweep hold off and etc this is an force key press this key to force trigger the function mainly used in normal or single trigger type this is an measure measure key so measure makes automatically automatically measurement on channel 1 and channel 2 this is an acquire key this key will tell you average value peak detect and high resolution of waveform and set sample mode in real time and shows the sampling rate and memory depth this is an storage key using this key you can save the current setting waveforms and screen image to usb storage device and also recall the stored setting or waveform when needed this is an cursor key this key will load the cursor on the screen so you can see there is a cursor on the screen this is a display key this key will set display type of grid and grid intensity so here you can see you can change the grid intensity grid type etc 
this is an utility key using this utility key you can change the language of the dso and uh, you can sound on off etc this is an horizontal knob using this knob you can move the trigger position left or right related to the center of screen when you turn the knob this is an horizontal menu key press this key to turn on the horizontal control menu this is an horizontal scaling knob when you rotate this knob to clockwise direction the waveform getting shrinked uh, get extended and when you ro rotate this knob to anti clockwise direction the waveform get shrinked this is an position knob this will shift uh, this will shift the waveform vertically upward or downward you can see when i rotate this knob to clockwise direction the waveform get shifted to upward as i rotate this knob to anti clockwise direction the waveform get shifted downward this is a this is a math key this key load the math menu so here we have a math menu this is a reference key press this key to turn on the reference the channel 1 channel 2 channel 3 channel 4 math can be selected as reference waveform channel this is a vertical scale knob when you press this key it will quickly switch the vertical scale adjustment mode between coarse and fine so i press this key now when you rotate this knob to clockwise direction it will amplify the waveform so here it amplify the waveform as i rotate this knob to anti clockwise direction it will attenuate attenuate the waveform so here waveform get attenuated or amplitude get decreases this is the clear key this key can clear all the waveform on the screen including channel waveform maths references and traces so when i press this clear key you can see the clear uh, the clear will clear the waveform this is an auto key this key will auto scan the channels configuration of the channels horizontal and trigger system to view the signal so when i press this auto key automatically it will configure the all the channels this is an run stop key this key can start or stop the waveform sampling function the key illuminated with red in stop status so when i press this key you can see this key is illuminated with red light this is an single key in run status press this key to stop the oscilloscope in stop status press this key to set sweep mode in single this is an intensity knob using this knob you can intense the display of cro so here the maximum brightness of the cro display dso display this is a minimum dso display brightness so a beep sound is coming when maximum brightness exceed so now these are the function menu soft key so first key is named named as f1 key so when i press this key it will set the time base to view only one one cycle on the screen so here it is only the one cycle this key named as f2 this key will set the time base to view multiple cycle on screen so when i press this key so here we have a multiple cycle a cycle on the cr dso display this key named as f3 this key will set the time base to view the rise phase so when i press this key you can add the rise time measurement this key named as f4 
this key will set the time base to view the full phase on a screen and add the full time measurement so when i press this key so this is a full time phase measurement this key named as fy this key return to the last menu keep the current setting on auto so when i press this key this will shift us to a last menu so this will set us to return to us to the last menu so here we have this last menu this key named as f6 so this key will undo the setting by auto so when i press this auto now i am pressing this f6 key so this will take us to the previous menu and the mode is on auto this is a leftmost corner of this dso so these are the measurement menu soft key this is a menu this is a menu key so this button switch from vertical menu to horizontal menu or vice versa so when i press this one here vertical menu then horizontal menu again vertical again horizontal this is an uh, this is this is the key of mis f1 so this key will tell that time period of complete waveform cycle the time is measured between middle threshold points of the two consecutive waveform points so when i press this key it will measure the period of two consecutive middle threshold points this is the mis f2 key this key will tell the frequency of waveform cycle so when i press this key it is telling the frequency of waveform cycle so it is uh, this frequency is 1.00 kilohertz this is an mis f3 key this key will tell the rise time of the waveform or signal so when i press this key so here we have the rise time this is an mis f4 key this key will tell the fault time of the waveform so when i press this key here we have the fault time of the waveform this is the mis f5 f5 key it will tell the positive width of the waveform so positive width is the time of middle threshold rising edge to the next falling edge middle threshold so when i press this key it will measure the positive width of the waveform so here we have the positive width of the waveform it is 502 it is a mis f6 key it will tell the negative width of the waveform and the negative width is the time from middle threshold of falling edge to the middle threshold of the next rising edge so when i press this key here we have the negative width that is 498 and these are the mis up and down keys so in the rear overview of this dso we have a lan connector connect the instrument to network via this interface for port for remote control and this is an usb device connector you can see here thank you for watching this video for other queries you can contact tesca technologies private limited thank you